Hello everyone. In the next part of the email, let's understand the mail access protocol, POP3 and IMAP. The using SMTP protocol, the SMTP server send a message from the sender agent to the sender mail server as well as sender mail server to the receiver mail server. When we need retrieve a message at recipient PC, at that time we need to retrieve it from the recipient mail server. This SMTP protocol used earlier in 90s when we doesn't need any client application in our daily use. Nowadays I am accessing my mail account using different client at office PC, at my laptop or in my mobile device. So we need a such protocol which access a mail in these three different client. So for that we need such a mail access protocol as POP3 and IMAP. In this figure it is similar in SMTP protocol working. Now POP3 and IMAP protocol access the receiver mail server message and retrieve it on user agent. So for that we need POP3, the post office protocol version 3 and IMAP protocol is internet mail access protocol. So mail access protocol such as a POP3 or IMAP it is used to transfer a mail from receiver mail server to the receiver user agent. Let's understand the POP3 in detail. Let's understand the POP3, the post office version 3 protocol. As seen in previous figure, the user or a sender agent send an email to their mail server using SMTP. So SMTP is used to transfer a mail from the sender mail server to the recipient mail server as well as SMTP is also used to transfer a mail from sender user agent to the sender mail server. So we need retrieve the mail from the receiver mail server to the receiver user agent. So or we can say download that mail in our local machine at recipient side. For that we need POP3 protocol. In this protocol it is used to transfer a mail from recipient mail server to the recipient user agent. It is extremely used in mail accessing protocol nowadays. So after connection established it use TCP connection. During this connection the POP3 progress through three phase. The first phase is authorization. Second phase is transaction and third is update. During first phase the authorization the user agent can send a user name and password to authenticate the user during the process of authorization. After authenticate it give authorization to access the mail at receiver or we can say recipient mail server. During the second phase the transaction the user agent retrieve that message also during this phase they can mark as well as delete, remove that deletion mark and obtain the mail statistics. In the third phase, the update phase, it occurs after the client has issued the quit command or completing or ending the POP3 session. At this time, the mail server delete the message that were marked for a deletion. So 
we can say that the pop3 is designed to delete ml on a server as soon as the user has download it now let's understand why we required imap protocol instead of pop3 protocol so in that imap protocol it is denoted as a internet mail access protocol so it keep all the message in one place i can say at server side so the recipient can move and organize this message into the new folder user created folder read this message they can delete the message they can move this message from the new folder to the another folder and so on they can create a directory as their own so this thing is done in the local recipient local pc so we need to access or we need to doing same procedure at server side so in pop3 protocol it cannot be possible so for that we need imap protocol to do such kind of activities in imap protocol it can allow user to move and organize message they can also creating new folder as well as read that message delete move folder move message in one folder to another folder as well as user can search the folder name as well as the message matching in particular specific criteria so the imap protocol allowed to permit user agent to obtain component of the message means the user can read the message header detail as well as different different part for example in mail body it can also contain text as well as audio and video in pop3 protocol it download the whole message rather than received a component of a message means in imap protocol if i want to view only the text when i am accessing mail in low bandwidth connection then i need i want to view only the text then imap protocol is useful it not download the whole component of mail so it avoiding long message like audio or video clip in attachment of mail so as per the user requirement the user can use pop3 protocol mail access or as per the requirement they can use imap internet mail access protocol in next video we will discuss about the dns thank you